Maury Subaru is here today with the new 2016 Subaru Legacy. Now what I'd like to do is show you around the exterior, the interior, and then provide you with a driving review. So the Legacy we have here today is going to be the limited package. Now this one also has the added sunroof as well as the navigation system. One of the things that's really cool about this added package is going to be the EyeSight technology. Now that can bring the car to a complete stop if there's a potential collision in front of you. If someone slams on the brakes and maybe you're leaning down or yelling at the kid in the back seat, it will come to a complete stop, which is really nice. Also this one's going to have the 18 inch wheels and also Subaru's classic symmetrical all wheel drive system. These are a ton of fun to drive in the winter and they're also a very safe car. So now let's get to the driving review part of this. All right so let's go for a little spin around here in the Legacy. So we've been driving a few different Subarus on kind of all around all week and I think my favorite's been the Legacy. I mean, keeping in mind, I got behind the wheel of the new STI, which was awesome and super fun. But it, if you have to live with the car every day and you're just looking for a comfortable four-door sedan that's got plenty of trunk space, I mean, it's got the heated seats in this package and you got the leather steering wheel shift knob combo and it's really comfortable. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of maybe the CVT transmission, but you can do the manual shift mode if you want, which kind of maps out a different pattern. So it's like having maybe a six speed, but you know, I think this car, if you could get this package with the manual transmission, that would be fun. I would definitely enjoy that. But for day-to-day -day driving, I mean, 95% of the time, whether you're sitting in traffic or you're kind of driving around town or however you might be running errands or whatever you might be doing, this is gonna do it all. I mean, you could put four or five adults in this car and be comfortable for people, preferably. You could still put some golf clubs in the back if you wanted to. You could get the roof rack, throw some stuff up top, and it's gonna be a great car. You're gonna get well over 30 miles per gallon on the highway. The motor's got plenty of get up and go. It's, it's no STI, like I said, but for what you're doing, it's more than enough. This one does have the navigation package, so you can click the map button. It's a little old school looking, but it does work really well. So that's definitely nice that you can just click the menu, click a destination, and you're set to go. Also, you can program your phone in here, whether that's streaming audio, streaming phone calls. It's pretty straightforward, easy to use stuff. A few other things, there's apps in here. So if you're a Pandora user, it'll stream your music through that way. It'll pull album artwork, super cool system there as well. But just kind of the overall ride and drive, I mean, it's quiet it's really comfortable these seats are really nice in the leather and I mean if, if you're looking at more of the base model the cloth ones are also pretty comfortable but I mean the leather and the black it's pretty hot out today but cooled down nicely the air conditioning system so straightforward it's not on the touch screen it has its own it or excuse me it has its own its own buttons here so it's easy to use other easy to use things the steering wheel whether that's the volume control or you can kind of go through your different sources that you want to use quickly and then also from there you have this neat little center display which is going to tell you how fast you're going your average mpgs or the direction you're traveling which is really nice so overall who should look at this car if you're maybe not wanting to jump up to one of the german sedans and spend a lot of money maybe you want the all-wheel drive as kind of the standard option of yes i'm not gonna to have to worry about driving in the snow I'm not gonna to have to worry about driving in inclement conditions it just is a car that's easy to drive, simple, handles well. I mean, it looks good. Also in this limited trim with those wheels and the white over the black interior, it looks really nice. So I think it's definitely worth getting out and driving one, seeing what you think. And hopefully, I mean, whether it's 85 and sunny or negative 20 and snowing, the Subaru can do it all. And that's what's most important. On behalf of Maury Subaru, thanks for watching. Now, if you'd like to schedule your test drive in the new Legacy, make sure to call, click, or stop by today. Thanks again for watching and make sure you buy happy.